Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. I pray that everyone had a blessed night's rest, or if you're getting ready to um, come in from overnight work, that um, you have a good day's rest at your nighttime. And also, I just like to praise God for uh, family and friends and even those unknown to me that came through successful surgeries over the last week or so or the last 24 hours, whenever your time was. I thank and praise God for him bringing you through surgery, either yourself or a loved one. And um, today's reading is for July the 12th. It is entitled, Left Behind, Let Us Pray. Abba Father, we just want to say thank you and praise your name this morning. We want to thank you for your loving grace and your mercies for every day, Lord, that you allow breath to be in our body and we wake up clothed in our right minds, Lord, that you would order our steps and, Father, we would stay on the path. We give thanksgiving for the blessings over our family and our relatives, Lord. Um, and Abba Father, we also thank you for the challenges that cause us to grow. Sometimes, Lord, we all have um, things that happen in our family because life in itself is no respecter of persons. And whether you pray or you don't pray, uh, situations can arise in your life, Father. But with the gift of prayer and having a relationship with you and being able to be in communion, Lord, sometimes it makes our journey um, less stressful uh, with the help and support of loved ones around us, Father. Um, and we don't have to walk the path alone. So thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name this morning, remember our children, especially our young people, Lord, and Father, even some of our older folks that might be struggling with some things, Lord, um, maybe questioning and finding their footing in life finally. Bless and heal our land, O oh God. I thank you this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reading today is entitled, um, Left Behind. I have a little condensation building up on my glasses. Okay. Is entitled, Left Behind. July the 12th, Left Behind. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Romans 3 verse 20. My husband, a pastor, was recently transferred to a new church, so our family moved to a new town. It was again time to make new acquaintances and get used to our new surroundings. One day, our neighbors across the street came over to welcome us to the neighborhood. I noticed a beautiful orange tiger cat sitting in their driveway and asked them what was its name. Oh, he's not our cat, they said, but we call him Cammy. Some years ago, the cat's owners moved from the neighborhood and simply left him behind. I love animals and felt sorry for him, so I decided I would befriend and feed Cammy. I started feeding Cammy every day. Soon he, he allowed me to pet him as he ate. One exceptionally cold morning, Cammy met me at the door and tried to get into the house. I longed to let him inside so that he could get warm, but I was afraid that once he got in, he wouldn't really be happy. He's used to having his freedom outside and would probably find living in a house to be too restrictive. Though he thinks he wants to be inside, he has really become a wild cat and won't even let me pick him up. Cammie would not understand my rules about not scratching the furniture or jumping on the tables or getting on the tables. No, I'm afraid he wouldn't fit in, especially since I have a 14-year-old cat that is already established with us. Having Cammie inside the house would destroy both our peace and his. This situation, this situation reminded me of 
how Jesus longs to let all the people he has created into heaven. In fact, he tells us in 1 Timothy 2, 4, that our Savior desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. The problem is, if they don't let Jesus change them first, they will not be happy there. Not only would they find it impossible to fit in, their presence would destroy the peace of those around them. Just as we couldn't let Cammie into our house because he wouldn't change to fit in, Jesus cannot allow into heaven sinners who refuse to change. Sadly, he must leave them on the outside the heavenly on the outside the heavenly gates and on this earth may each one of us confess our sins accept jesus's gift of salvation and allow his spirit to change us now so that we won't be left behind when he comes amen our reading today was written by krista white schiff bauer i hope i'm saying that correct Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Thank you, Abba Father, for this reading. Thank you for such a great illustration on, um, with regards to our salvation and our being a part of the kingdom of heaven. Just like with any event that we might have here on this earth, there is protocol with being a part, Lord. There are sometimes occasions where we have casual dress, laid back uh, mindset and everything else. And then there are times when things are formal and you dress up and uh, you change your attire. And in this case, Lord, I mean our mental attire. Uh, they say things like, oh, you fit in where you get in or you get in where you fit in, however that saying goes. But um, as with all things, we serve a God who is a God of order. If you look at the creation of the world, if you go back into the book of Genesis and you read about everything, God did everything in order. So there is even an order, a protocol that is required not only here in this life, but as well as in the kingdom of heaven. So bless us all, Father, to have a heart, to have a mindset. And when we say our pride, prayers, we ask you, O oh Lord, to direct us in our protocol and, and having a relationship with you and being able to be a part of the heavenly kingdom once you return. We thank you, Abba Father, for this day, for this time here together, blessing and healing to all the land and blessing and healing to those, Lord, um, that stand in need of a personal touch from you, whether it be in the form of a hug, or Lord, that thing on the inside that happens where um, the song that says uh, by Sarah Gaines, the part that no one sees and no one knows. Thank you, Abba Father. Remember our children today and all of the happenings around the world and those, Lord, who have been pushed abruptly into seasons of loss and grief and mourning. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Your continued blessings for us all and to those victims around the country, Lord, and around the world in unexpected situations. Thank you, Abba Father, this morning. Amen. And I'm going to say it again. Send the songs. I so appreciate your comments. Um, to me, it's very encouraging. Thank you for all of those who have um, subscribed. Have a blessed day, everyone. And by his grace, I will see you later on or tomorrow. And if I'm wrong, Miss Jackson, uh, happy birthday, Miss Jackson. Uh, that's my, my cousin, Renee, and um, if I'm wrong, then happy birthday on July 13th. This is Miss Norma signing off. Mwah. I love you. Take care, family, and I'll see you real soon. Amen.
small kettle. Okay, it's supposed to cut. 